again, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to another edition of Ring Respect Radio. I am your host, The Real Bobby Munson, and it is Royal Rumble weekend. Hope everybody's excited for the big show this Sunday night. It is going to be one hell of a great time. I'm going to come here with uh, some predictions for you on my thoughts on the show. And let's start off with the kickoff show. We know that Bobby Roode, the new United States champion, is going to be coming out with an open challenge that he is issuing to anybody to come out and challenge him. Not too sure who the challenger is going to be, but what I am certain of, I'm pretty sure that Bobby Roode will remain the United States champion after this in particular encounter. Next on the kickoff show, we have Anderson and Gallows, who will be taking on the team of the Revival. We know that on Monday night on Raw 25, uh, Anderson and Gallows definitely got the win over the Revival. I believe a lot of people were very upset that it was a quick match and that it felt like they were really just kind of burying the Revival down. Personally, I felt like it was just kind of a added bonus to the Raw 25 show. I don't think it really meant a whole lot, so I don't think we should dig too deep into it. Uh, look to this particular match to really give the Revival the opportunity to get that kick back in the right direction. So I think that I'm going to have to go with the Revival for the victory in this particular encounter. Uh, next up, we have the uh, Cruiserweight division. And wow, uh, what a week when it comes to the Cruiserweight division with the news about Enzo Amore uh, now being uh, let go from WWE due to the allegations against him and uh, his lack, apparently uh, from his lack of reporting it to WWE officials as well too. So uh, be interesting to see what happens with 205 Live moving forward now. But anyways, uh, we will get a uh, six-man tag team match on the kickoff show for the Royal Rumble. It's going to be Kalisto teaming with Lince Dorado, Grand Matalik. They'll be taking on TJP, Gentleman Jack Gallagher and Drew Gulak. Uh, I I have a feeling here that they're going to want to lift the spirits of the cruiserweight division a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to have to say look to uh, Kalisto's team to end up picking up the win just to give the fans a little bit of a boost back in the direction you know, of the, the care and want for 205 Live again. So I, I have a feeling that's the way WWE is going to go, after, especially after the news that we've had recently so from there we move on to the main show itself and what a uh, packed card it is so hope everyone's excited let's uh, start with the smackdown live tag team championship match the tag team champions the uso is going to be taking on the team of chad gable and shelton benjamin in a best two out of three falls matchup uh, this one here, I believe, is going to be a strongly competitive match. We know that these two teams can knock it out of the park. Uh, this one, I believe, is going to obviously go to the last fall. It's going to come down to that final fall. And this time around, I think that we're going to see new tag team champions look to Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin to pick up the win here over the Usos and become your new SmackDown Live tag team champions. Next, we have the Raw Tag Team Championships on the line as Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan, the Tag Team Champions, defend against Sheamus and Cesaro, the bar. Uh, this one, you know, is going to have a lot of that back and forth between, you know, the development of Jason Car Jason's uh, kind of character that he's going with. He's going with this cocky attitude type individual uh, that the fans are starting to turn on. So it's going to be a lot of play on that in this particular match. And I think it's also going to be what causes enough of a problem for the team to lose focus and for the bar to pick up that win that they're needing, becoming the new tag team champions once again. I'm going with the bar on this one. Uh, WWE Championship match. This is a two-on-one handicap match. AJ Styles taking on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at the same time. Uh, Again, this is going to be uh, one of those ones where, you know, they wanted you to believe that the numbers are going to be in favor of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. But are they truly in favor of the two of them? The thing is, is that as much as they want you to believe that they would be co-WWE champion, it's the one who pins or makes AJ Styles submit that will actually be the WWE champion. And can these two coexist enough to want to work together to gain that? Or is one of them and their arrogance going to get the best of them causing a distraction or an up you know a, a little dissension between the two 
just enough so that AJ Styles can pull it off and remain your WWE champion. I'm going to go with AJ Styles picking up the unexpected upset win in this particular match. Uh, we now move on to the Universal Championship match. This is a triple threat match being contested between champion Brock Lesnar, the Big Red Machine Kane, and the monster among men, Braun Strowman. And man, has WWE made Braun Strowman look incredible in the last little while. He has been on fire with everything he's been doing. They've really got him some of that heat and that, you know, that allure that made us uh, drawn to the character in the first place back recently. And it's almost a shame because we know this is not going to go Braun Strowman's way. I don't think WWE are ready to pull that trigger so close to WrestleMania, seeing as plans are going the way they originally wanted them to. I think they're going to find a way for Brock Lesnar to pick up the win. I What I think is going to happen here is... Braun Strowman's not going to be able to get back into the ring after getting beat on the outside. He is, it's not going to be quite enough. He's not going to have enough in him to quite drag himself out in time. While it, meanwhile, inside the ring, Brock Lesnar hits the F5 to Kane. Then he will pick up the pinfall over Kane. So Braun won't completely lose all that heat that he's got going, all that draw to him because he won't eat the pinfall himself. Kane will eat the pinfall. Brock Lesnar walks away. Still your universal champion. And that will be the way it is going into WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar will hold on to that title right up until WrestleMania. You'd, you had to have seen this coming from a lot for a long time. So nothing's going to change there. Uh, what will change is for the first time ever, we are getting a 30 women battle Royal Royal Rumble matchup for the first time in history. And this is going to be incredible. We know there is going to be surprise entrance, probably some of the women of NXT being called up. It would be very interesting to see who ends up making the list. Personally, I think that this is a great opportunity for WWE to keep her looking strong, go with the Asuka win. Asuka ends up victorious, even in a Royal Rumble-style matchup, so that she can continue this streak and say she got that big win allowing her to go on for the matchup at WrestleMania to capture the capture the Raw Women's Championship. I believe that's the way to go. We'll end up seeing, but I'm going to go with Asuka as the, uh, the runner to take this one. Uh, next up, the Men's Royal Rumble match, 30-man Royal Rumble match, and this could go a multitude of ways. I know there's been rumors about... Uh, different people winning this one from John Cena to Roman Reigns, Shinsuke Nakamura, uh, even so much as uh, people saying that Daniel Bryan might be a surprise entrant and Daniel Bryan could end up winning this particular match. I'm not sure I would put all my eggs into the Daniel Bryan basket. Uh, it would be very interesting to see if WWE does clear him, allowing him into the match itself. I think I'm still going to go with what I hope is going to happen along with the fact that I just I have a strong feeling this is what WWE has planned because they know that this could be a match the fans are going to love at WrestleMania. So no matter what happens with the Universal Championship match, whether you love it or hate it, this match will capture the fans' imagination, especially the hardcore fans. Shinsuke Nakamura wins the Royal Rumble. He will go on to WrestleMania to end up taking on AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. So all of us real hardcore fans are going to love that particular matchup at WrestleMania. So then they can build up the Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar Universal Championship match that they've wanted to go with, that they've been building with. So the people that don't really get Roman Reigns or don't want to get Roman Reigns, you don't want to support him, that's fine. You're still going to get what you want as well. But you have to share a little bit of the airtime with what some other people want, and that's the Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns match at WrestleMania. I believe that's the way it's all going to go down. I could be wrong. Who knows? It's going to be interesting to see. But I want to know from you guys. Let me know in the comment section below who you think is going to win at the Royal Rumble. And then I will be back later tonight with my predictions for, or not my predictions, but my review of NXT Philly, my predictions video already out there, so hope you're enjoying that one. Uh, make sure to hit subscribe down below, and until next time, have a great day.